During my freshman year of high school and second year in FFA, I began competing in the farm business management competition. During practices, we would always have the same special guest come and teach us a little bit more about economics and how to make the hundreds of numbers we were seeing on the paper in front of us make sense. Little did I know on the very first practice that this special guest would go on to become one of my greatest role models. Besides the numerical explanations and countless dad jokes that he loves to tell, Dr. Eric DeVeest has had a tremendous impact on my life because of how he continues to give back to the FFA community and pours into those surrounding him. Dr. DeVeese earned his doctorate in agriculture economics from Purdue University and received his master's degree in theological studies from Liberty University. He has taught and conducted research in several different places, but today he's professor in agriculture economics at Oklahoma State University, and we cannot be more excited to have him with us today to share a little bit about his experiences in leadership. I'm Caleb Horn. And I'm Eric DeVeest. And this, this is, is Oklahoma, Oklahoma FFA's, FFA's Leadership, leadership on, on Demand. Demand. All righty, Mr. DeVeest, our first question today. Who has been a key influencer in your life and how has this person changed the way that you view leadership? Well, um, I can think of several people. I'm gonna go back to one gentleman who was my high school ag teacher. Mr. Gary Hahnemann and Michigan, and uh, he always encouraged me, always pointed me in positive directions. Um, I, I thought I was going to go back to the farm, and uh, he was he was talking with me about going into something where I could use the my God-given talents um, that would build other people up, and I didn't know what that looked like at the time, but. Uh, here we are several years later, many years later, and uh, that's what I strive to do. All because that one person pushed you to go farther than you thought you could. Absolutely. Um, next question, looking back, what is one bit of advice that you would offer to your 20-year-old self? God is who he says he is, exactly who he says he is in scripture, and the times when you look back that you'll be most disappointed are the times you failed to honor him and obey him. Yeah. Always got to keep him first. That's right. That's right. Next question. Third question. One more after this. How has being involved in the FFA organization prepared you for success as a professor at Oklahoma State, part one, and then what are some daily habits that you think um, youth today should implement into their lives to be more successful? Well, first of all, you presume I'm successful at Oklahoma State. Mm, you are. You are. <laughs> Come on. Um, well, the FFA taught me a lot about um, truly what it means to be a leader. And um, I think to be a good classroom instructor, a good graduate thesis dissertation advisor, you have to know what true leadership means. And, and that really boils down to serving others and, and not putting your own wants ahead of the needs of the people that you're there to serve. Yeah. And I learned a lot of that in the FFA. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I think when you talk about service leadership, that's one of the key aspects of FFA is making sure that you're not only are you there to serve, but you're truly seeking out the needs of others and what you can do for them. And so I, I think that oftentimes we think leadership involves um, winning the awards, uh, getting all the recognition and like that. And, and some of the, the most impactful leaders you ever meet are people that are behind the scenes that other people don't even see, don't even, aren't even aware what they're doing behind the scenes to make other people successful. That's right. That's right. Final question for today is, what is one bit of advice that you would give to an FFA member today? Whatever stage you're at in your FFA career, whether you're in the eighth grade or you're a senior, it's not too late to pour into the organization. And what you find out, the more you pour into the organization, the more you get back out of it ultimately. You might not realize it right away, it might be five, 10 years down the road, but like, wow, 
that really changed me when I stepped up and volunteered or jo joined that team or um, helped somebody out with their proficiency award application, um, encouraged the younger members to do uh, things in the chapter. Those things pay off for you in the long run and they pay off for the people around you. And we talked about it earlier, service. When you serve others, ultimately you build yourself up and it's, it's um, for me, it's been the only way for me to actually um, achieve in my life is the times when I said, I'm going to serve others. I don't need to be the point person on these things. Well, Mr. Beast, thank you for taking some time out of your busy schedule to be with us today. Um, Oklahoma FA, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.